Hello guys, White Exotics here. It's been ages since I've had an escaped tarantula. Just moving this and I didn't realise she's jumped out. It's a uh, Lampropalma violis C.O.P.s. Uh, she's just shed recently, so that's why I was taking out her old molt. molt. Um, she's freaking out, so I'm being trying to be very careful here. Oh, where did she go? Okay, I completely lost her then. Uh, I'm not worried about this one as much because it's not as venomous, but it's just, it's so quick, I'm trying to find it. I'm not sure where it went, to be honest. I'm gonna quickly check uh, the viewfinder. I'll be back in a sec. Damn it, guys. So I looked where she ran to, but I can't actually see her. It might help if I grab a torch. Um, I hate when stuff like this happens. It's just very irritating. Right. Torch. I'm trying to do multiple uh, vivariums at once. Thought I'd go in and feed her, and yeah, this happened. So. There she is. Okay, so she's there. She's actually um, around the same sort of size as the P Metallica I had that escaped. So if I zoom into her, absolutely stunning again, very blue. It's, uh, it's about five in the morning, guys. I'm a bit crazy. Sometimes I do this stuff real early in the morning. Awesome she is. Really stunning, nice blue spider. This is kind of crappy because I've got to get round the back here. It'd be so much easier if I had a tripod to be honest. Right, what I'm gonna do guys, let's just keep this here for a second. This is the most awkward I'm trying to do this awkward setup. and jump up and go these, these species are notorious for jumping just so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this around oh crap so she's gone around this side now sweating as well because today is supposed to be the hottest day of the year and I can tell you what guys inside here is absolutely boiling I'm, I'm coat coated in buckets of sweat uh, so it's just not the most comfortable time to be doing this but anyway I guess it's pretty funny for you guys to see uh, what's the best way of doing this if I move this she's just going to go jump again oh here we go Stunningly beautiful, around eight inches in leg span. So she's a big girl. I just do not enjoy working with too fast uh, spiders, you know. But people are going to say, "Oh, why do you keep them?" And well, look at it. It speaks for itself just how beautiful this is. Um, so normally these are quite peaceful. It's just that they're a bit quick. Oh crap! Not again. Right, I think. Again, really awkward because there's these bars, so there's no way I can just get a capture cup and put it in. One second. All right, I'm getting kind of paranoid now. I have no idea where she's gone. She's literally ran off somewhere, so I'm just checking underneath all of these. No, she's not under there. I really hope she hasn't gone behind my 
mini aquarium because it's going to be a nightmare to move that. As soon as I pick this up, she's gonna freak out. So, just trying to work out what I should do. And again, doing this one hand, it is not the easiest thing. She's not even moving. Here we go. Oh, I'm sweating. Uh, oh, capture cup. That'd be a good idea. All my capture cups are in use, so I really have no idea what I'm going to do here, guys. It's a bit annoying. I'm just going to try an empty box, that's the best I've got. Let's get a box in behind her. This is going to be fun. Ah, oh, she freaked out again. Neither. Wait, uh, if I move that. So crappy. I don't want to go under the table. Oh, she's now on the floor. This sucks. <sighs> okay. Tell you what, guys, do not get into fast arboreals. They're the worst ones for it. For being lightning quick. coming this way so she needs to go this way otherwise it's under the table gonna be a nightmare to get her so I'll try and oh for god's sake Where the hell she gone this time again it's gonna make a good video because I didn't attempt for this to happen. Right. Camera qualities got a bit crappy as well got no light in here. Oh, she goes again. back in I'm not messing with you again for a while a spider isn't actually overly aggressive they just jump a lot okay uh, let's put this box here we'll try and go to her in oh she went underneath it quality it's never normally this bad but I suppose it's quite dark right so if I just push this box I didn't want to trap her legs oh for god okay move this one she's gonna move that I didn't want her to go one second Oh, for crying out loud. 
this is really pissing me off, guys. Oh, I have to take the chair out. In theory, this should work now because I've got enough space to get under there. Which is the guy back this way. Oh crap, she went my way. <laughs> I'm not having a call on me. Okay. That was trap one, didn't work, but I put another jar here. Uh, hopefully, this will be the last one. I just need to be careful. Come on, focus. She's not gonna... There we go, guys. We have her. She's in. <sighs> right. Be back in a second. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes I did before. There we go. Oh, wow. I was more worried about her going up the curtain rails, jumping across, going up into my cabinets, than her actually attacking me or anything. She did freak me out a little bit, not gonna lie. I know they still can bite, and I've never been bitten by them before, so. Right, just need to be careful getting her out. There you can see how big she is, look. That is not a small spider, as you can tell. She is a massive spider. Um, these can get to 10 inches. They're actually one of the biggest arboreal spiders in the world. And she's now back in. Um, yeah, so they can get up to 10 inches in leg span. And she is around 8. She's just recently shed. So I was going to do an update on her anyway. But see, this is the, uh, the update now. <laughs> so, guys, that was really tense. Um... What I'll do is an update on her in a few days. Now she's fully hardened up, her fangs were black, so she was ready to eat. Uh, but just, look at the size of her. This is one of my bigger tarantulas, as you can see. All right guys, thanks for watching.